In this lesson, I'll show you how to use the Hardy-Weinberg formula to find the heterozygous, homozygous allele frequencies. The question reads, in a purebred Holstein cow, about one calf in 100 is spotted red rather than black. The trait is autosomal, and red is recessive to black. Autosomal meaning that this gene occurs on a non-sex chromosome. In question A, what is the frequency of the red alleles in the population? So first of all, we'll say that one out of 100 calves are born with these red spots. And because this is an autosomal recessive trait, that means that the cow must have inherited a recessive allele from both of its parents. We'll call the recessive allele little r. So the genotype of a red spotted calf is two little r's, whereas a black spotted calf would either be big R, big R, or big R, little r. They're asking what is the frequency of the red alleles? What we have to do is use the Hardy-Weinberg formula, specifically this term, which represents the proportion of individuals who are homozygous recessive. And I'll set Q squared equal to this fraction. So I have one over 100 is equal to Q squared. By solving for Q mathematically, we have found the frequency of little r in the gene pool. And we can solve this mathematically by square rooting both sides. By square rooting both sides, we end up with a Q value. Let's use our calculator. 1 over 100. And then we square root that. We end up with 0 0.1. So for this particular gene, within the gene pool, 10% are recessive. Now let's move on to question B. What is the frequency of black homozygous cattle in the population? To find out, again, we'll be referring to the Hardy-Weinberg formula shown right there. And specifically, this term P squared is used to calculate the frequency of homozygous individuals. So I'll take P squared. And I need to substitute the value of p into p squared in order for me to find the frequency of black homozygous cattle. Again, this term is for capital R, capital R. To find p, I will use this formula, the first one, where I substitute the value that I found for q. Okay, so I have p plus q is equal to 1. I'll substitute this value in for q. And I can solve for p really easily by moving that over where I have p is equal to 1 minus 0 0.1 and that's 0 0.9. So I'll take 0 0.9, sub it into there, 0 0.9 to the power of 2. And I end up with 0 0.81. 0 0.81, or to make more sense of it, 81 out of 100 cattle will have a homozygous genotype that is capital R, capital R. And that's equivalent to 81%. All right, so 1% is little r, little r. Okay, 1% is little r, little r. 81% is capital R, capital R. And for question C, what is the frequency of black heterozygous cattle? So these are cattle that are carriers. Okay, they have the genotype R, little r. They're carriers, they don't show the red spots. But if they were to mate with another cattle that was also a carrier, there's a chance that their offspring will have red spots. Okay, so we have to use this term of the Hardy-Weinberg formula, 2 times P times Q. We already know little p, it's 0 0.9. We already know little q, it's 0 0.1. Let's multiply these out. 2 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.1. And this makes, I'll make this fraction so that it has a denominator of 100 rather than 50. I'll multiply the bottom and the top by 2. We have 18 over 100. So 18% are carriers, and they have the genetic inheritance of capital R, little r. And there you have it. That is how to calculate heterozygous, homozygous allele frequencies.